You are great, yes, you are holy one. Walked upon the sea, raised the dead. Reign in majesty, mighty God. Everything written about you is great. You are great, yes, you are. Holy One Walked upon the sea Raised the dead You reign in majesty Mighty God Everything written about you Is great You are great You are great You are great you are, you are great. Oh yeah. You are great. Say you are great. You are great. Say you are great. Bandiari o polvo. Enelio, apostle, honorable, Samuel. Epa. Put your hands together. 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 Mr. President. The chairman of the occasion himself, the chairman board of trustee Mbagyak Obolo, Obolo People Assembly, the grand patron Mbagyak Obolo, here be represented by the distinguished son of Obolo Land, Al Haji. Farouk Idabu Ijai. Members, Board of Trustees here present. Members of the Advisory Council here present. Members of the Board of Patrons here present. The Royal Father of the Day. His Highness, Honorable Chief, Harry A. Tetor, distinguished sons of Akwaibom State who are here, International President of other sociocultural organizations, especially the International President of Afiwaneke, my friend and my brother, Etienne Paul, who is here, and indeed, other ESCO members of Afiwanete. The International ESCO of Mbangya Kokolo. Kokolo sons and daughters from across the world who are gathered here today. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, it is with utmost humility, overwhelming joy and a deep sense of appreciation that I, on behalf of the International Executive Council, Board of Trustees Advisory Council, and the Board of Patrons of Mbambia Obolo, Obolo People Assembly, welcome you to this effort gathering. This gathering is historic and unique Historic because the Obolo nation scarcely convened on foreign land for their native events. And unique because it is a gathering of the Obolo nation 
and their friends from other ethnic nations in the state to share and celebrate the essence of unity in the attainment of greatness. We regret that His Excellency the Governor of Akwaibom State and other eminent persons who were supposed to be here could not make it because of the mood in the state. We are all aware of the disaster that struck last Saturday when the building of a church in the city collapsed. Many precious lives of our sons and daughters were lost. And as the chief custodian and trustee of the destinies of the people of this state, under God, His Excellency is not in the right frame of mind. In fact, we were tempted to cancel this event. And we said, no, we cannot. If all we do is gather, then that will be enough. And I'm glad that today, both sons and daughters have found the time to gather so that we can share fellowship one with another. Bully three! Bully three! Bully three, so. Is that something the governor of Akwai Gomstead, Mr. Odo Emmanuel, has called on every Akwai man to rise to the faith of greatness. We are simply heeding that call by coming together as one big family called Akwai Gomstead, united in our ethnic diversity. There has been a great improvement in the inter-ethnic unity and cooperation in the state from the inception of the present administration. And this has helped to stabilize the machinery of government and in the maintenance of peace across the state. Mbandia Obolo, Obolo People Assembly, is a leading socio-cultural organization of the Obolo people and is duly registered with the Corporate Affairs Commission under the Companies and Allied Matters Act No. 1 of 1990, Part C. We have as our core objective to work for the promotion of intra-ethnic and inter-ethnic unity and cooperation to see to the survival, development, progress, celebration and preservation of your Obolo ethnic nation. Mbangyang Obolo is a town hall for all Obolo people across all classes and lineages. Mbangyang Obolo is, is a limiting point of the Obolo king and a platform for the celebration of Obolo kingship. Mbangyang Obolo is a melting point for issues that pertain to the Obolo people and indeed a clearing house for information on the Obolo people. Today as we gather, it is somewhat solid because we share the sentiment of the collapsed church building in New York. Later on, we shall take the time to see God on this unfortunate incident so that God will comfort the families that have been bereaved and indeed the government and people of Akwaibo State. That is a gentleman of Bolo, is a unique and distinct ethnic nation of a great noble and established people who come from a long history of human migrations, dispersions and expansions occasioned by the hostilities of the dark ages of history which left pains and scars on all lands and peoples of the world. The interplay of historical forces have shaped and orchestrated the evolution of Obolo nation in the course of process and time. And today, Obolo nation has emerged a notably strong, fierce, and audacious ethnic nation. This ethnic strength, fierceness, and audacity of the Obolo is a sociocultural heritage that has been passed down from the great progenitor of the Obolo to his progenies. And indeed, it is just heritage that has greatly contributed to the survival, preservation, development, and celebration of the invaluable Obolo identity wherever they have been assigned. 
In a part of the Ogolos are dominantly domiciled in Eastern Ogolo and in other five local governments and if not local government and in other five local governments. We are severely settled also amongst other ethnicities in at least seven local government areas of the state. And we are commonly referred to by others as Obodo. The Obodos from history are the first settlers in the eastern Niger Delta and over the centuries of their documented existence as an ethnic group have bred the arts to own and preserve for themselves and their posterity a beautiful homeland along the Atlantic coast in the eastern Niger Delta. Where they also develop for their sustenance and well-being the traditional industry and the celebrated economic culture of deep sea fishing that has been successfully preserved to the present day. It is for the love of their high seas and the adventures it offers that the Ogolos confine themselves to the coastline to find the courage to face the sea. They pay the regrettable price of losing sight of the shores and of the land. That regrettable price the Ogolos pay and still pay today for losing sight of the land. And that regrettable, regrettable price is that apart from the coastal stretch where they lived to sell the sea, they could scarcely expand hinterlands. They did little or no farming as they traded their sea produce for farm produce with their neighbors and trade partners from distant lands. This again caused them to disregard the need for expansion in the world. However, as progenies of the Obolo progenitor, we are grateful to God and to our fathers for the territories they owned and occupied and preserved for us. Long before the arrival of the colonial masters, and long before the first thing of the Nigerian Federation, the creation of the Southeastern States, Cross River State, and Aquino State. Today, the Obolo landmass, the coastal stretch covering the Western Obolo and the local government area of River State, the East Obolo, which is East Obolo and even the local government areas of Aquino State, and indeed the coastal territories occupied by. Oro, the Ogolo Key, and covering Oro, etc., local government areas. Of a point of has become the envy, dream, those destinations, and craving of all, of all, as the ultimate choice in economic, political, social, spiritual, etc., deliberations, considerations, and decisions. Although we are not high minded, about the extravagant uh, grace of God that has raised us in major in terms of economic prospects and resourcefulness in our various states of domiciliation and in the country. Yet, as the chief custodians and trustees of the real time economic base of our home states and country in a democratic world, we are conscious and we celebrate our relevance in the lead of the majorities by the sheer grace of God who blessed us and our lives. The Obolo nation is to have home state what the Niger Delta is to Nigeria and what a Bible state is to the Niger Delta. <laughs> Let me repeat it again so that you can clap better. The Obolo nation is to have home state what these states, including a part of state, are to the Niger Delta and what the Niger Delta is to the country. It needs no nation 
that the Ogolos are an indivisible ethnic nation. In spite of geographical, political, religious, social, economic differences, as it was with our fathers, so it is with us today. We are possessed and bound by a kindred spirit, the Ogolo spirit. Somebody should fly there. We are possessed and bound by a kindred spirit. That's very strong. I want to address a very sensitive issue here. And it is an issue of insecurity that arises whenever a defined individuality seeks expression within a whole. That itself is another well defined individuality within the context of another greater whole. God Almighty, through nature, has set the plan for the lesser individual to be the foundation of strength of the bigger, higher, and mightier. The foundation of all unity is first laid with the well-defined blocks of the various individuals that should unite and then followed by the selecting, the binding or bonding using suitable materials. Akwaibom State and Nigeria is tremendously blessed with the diversity of individual ethnic nations with their uniqueness and distinction. Given their right of place, and as individuals and supply with the right cement, they will stick together, become stronger, and more beautifully adorned with their individualities. There has been a clamor in some cases, the hostile disposition meted out against us, the Obolos in the state, for, for being ourselves. Attempts to force on us cultures that they to destroy our cherished identity as global people. I would like to please with everyone to accept us the way we are and choose to be. Because no matter how hard we try, at the end we can only be ourselves. No matter how hard we try, at the end we can only be ourselves. Let us learn to accept others in their individualities and be more tolerant. Let me declare emphatically here for what it portends that our history does not in any way oppose our destiny as a white woman. Let me declare emphatically here for what it portends that our history as Obolo does not in any way oppose our destiny as a white woman. As much as we are bonded with our past, that past that brought us to where we are today, we would not be a progressive people if we decline our steps from the path of destiny and recall our existence, our life, our dreams, our pursuits, back to where we began. That would be foolhardy. We are over the people, we know our place in history and in destiny, and we are determined to take and occupy that lofty place which lies ahead of us and not behind. We have eyes in the front of our faces and can see the vision of our destiny vividly. The land, the times, the experience that lie ahead of us is greater than what we have in history. We are moving forward, we are rising, for if we do not rise, our nation, the whole nation, will never rise. Yesterday is history, but tomorrow is destiny. Today is all we have to forge that destiny. Therefore, as we rise, let's look forward 